Rivals, welcome to Bax Attacks. Tonight I've got an exciting sneak peek look at a brand new troop that is making its way towards the star. It's the Abyssal Watcher. Let's take a look here in action, and this is footage provided by Space 8 Games. And throwing down some Abyssal Watchers and some Primus Mages behind them. Now that's a really unusual combination. Looks like some... Uh, some necromancers got on the battlefield here. Alright, they're taking on a pretty uh, low level base, so I think they're just showing the general feel of the troops here. They're going through it without much problem. I see little uh, plus signs coming up, some colors going on under the Primus Mage's feet. They look pretty tough, pretty beasty. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the uh, stats for these guys. I don't have full details on these yet, like how many levels they'll have, but we can tell right off the bat with health, almost a thousand. These are very uh, tanky units. Damage per second, 158. Not too bad. With the slow attack speed, each uh, attack is doing a little over 300 points. They are melee troops, and they will take uh, two troop slots. Their speed is decent. And one of their key features is damage amplification. When attacking, they will weaken all nearby targets, not just the ones they're hitting, and cause them to take extra damage from everything except the Abyssal Watchers themselves. The uh, stats up top show that amplification effect is 20% increased uh, damage from other troops around the Abyssal Watcher. Here's another key thing. They cannot be healed by Paladins, but they take increased healing from Primus Mage executions. And so whenever the uh, Primus Mage uh, takes down a building due to its special ability, there'll be a pretty significant uh, health uh, that'll be regained by the Abyssal Watchers. And so that's why we saw the Primus Mages teamed up with these guys. Very interesting. This kind of same uh, nice effect you get between the Soldiers and Paladins you'll get by using the Primus Mages and Abyssal Watchers. Interesting way to get the uh, Primus Mages to get uh, used a little bit more is by uh, giving them a nice impact with these guys. Alright, let's take a look at another attack. This one is against a Stronghold 15 with some pretty, uh, pretty good walls, pretty advanced uh, defenses. Not really seeing any Mithril on there yet though. Alright, and uh, he's using Lupita as the Ancient, which is going to be very nice, that's going to provide that healing that may be a little bit uh, lacking there. In addition to the other boosts, uh, and also notice that uh, that new Frost Dragon flying across the stream, helping to provide some uh, Spell Tower control here. Alright, so the Primus Mages are doing good damage, getting the Amplification bonus, and when a building falls, the Abyssal Watchers are getting healing. So really they're healing, uh, their health is in good shape here. When those pluses uh, pop up, that shows that's when they're taking the, uh, the healing boost. Alright, so that's, that's pretty interesting. They're working really well as a combo here. Alright, we may as well take a look at a level uh, Stronghold 16. Much higher level defenses here. Same troops are going down. Several Abyssal Watchers and the Primus Mages behind them. So they're doing a good job at uh, tanking for the other ranged troops. Let's keep an eye on their health and how quick they're taking things out. The damage is pretty good. Definitely pretty good. And between Lupita as the Ancient and their healing boost from the Primus Mages, they are, their hit points are staying really in good shape. And we do have uh, Mithril on these. There's a Stun Catapult firing. Skywatcher against the Dragon. And down goes the Stronghold. All right, very nice. This is going to be a really an interesting uh, new addition, a new change to the game. We haven't seen much use with Primus Mages, or with Raiders for that matter. So it's really cool to see a new troop coming into the game. 
Not sure when that is, but you'll hear more from that from Space Ape. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this troop, and thanks for watching.